Hello everyone. Uh, today we will learn more about advanced topics in solid edge. Uh, solid edge. Uh, mainly we'll learn about uh, how to do threads and select the type of threads that needed. Uh, the other thing also we do how we can do extrusion in different planes and so on. So let's go to look at the uh, details. We'll find that we're going to start with the front view. So this way we can draw the shape here and then extrude here. This is how much 36 and then this piece here is, is 16 and then the back was about 20. So let's go to solid edge. We'll go to the front view. I'm going to start with the rectangle rectangle by center and I'm going to put it here in the center here and then I need what 25 by 25 by 25 so 25 and the other side is 25 and it's a zero okay so now I can zoom I start add to it I will add uh, the other dimension. I'm going to get here. Go 25 horizontal. 25. Enter. Horizontal. Okay. Then I go 20. Enter. Vertical. And then horizontal. 75. Good. And I go down 20 enter 90 degrees and then we're going to close this one now the next step is to do the, the circles so if you look at the circles here so these circles and the other circle they are in the center of the line here so i have a diameter 15 and the other diameter the radius is 18 and a half which is 35 so i'm going to do that so i'm going to go circle by center the first diameter is 15 Enter. and then I'm going to put it in the center here and the other diameter is 35 and it is in the same center so now let's start cleaning trim I will trim the second half of the circle this will stay. I'm going to trim this line and then trim this line and trim this line. Let's make sure that the dimensions are correct. So let's do that. We can go from here to 20, 25, good. Then 25, 25, and 25. now we're going to start doing the extrusion so we we'll go to the extrusion and i need i'm going to pick this chain that's fine i can pick it chain or i pick it as a surface right click okay so now let's do, let's do that exit extrusion face this face right click in the other direction and this should be 20 let me see 36 sorry so 36 36 enter and then we're going to click on this face and we'll go to the other direction and it's going to be 16 enter. so this way we draw the first piece here now we need to go to I'm gonna start from this sorry oops I'm gonna start from this plane here and it draws a shape and then extruded the whole amount which is the 75 so I'm gonna do that uh, check line you have to check one of the tools the drawing tools and then highlight the plane you're going to start from once you see this is the right plane f3 it's just type 
click F3, then you will see the F3 is here, means that anything will drawn will be drawn in this page. So just I'm going to look it from the side. I say, okay, so I have a line here. Horizontal is what is 20. Then I go vertical. 75, I believe, 75. Uh, 57.5 57.5 and the radius here is 20 ok I'm going to put 57.5 vertical vertical ok let's zoom back again oops sorry fit and then what ok just we're going to connect ok I'm going to make a horizontal 120 Mm -hmm. and then I'll go down for the vertical touch. so I'm done now I need to make the curve mm -hmm. so the radius I'm going to take this one and this one and the radius here should be 12 to enter so this way there now let me clean this line here okay so now we did the shape so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it is in the right plane yes it is in the right plane then we're going to extrude it about 75 so extrude actually 75 right click so we're going to go how much 75 75 and now we we finish with this one the only thing left now is to do the the shaft which has the screws in it and we have to draw it in this in this surface here so this is what we're going to do we're going to say circle by center and the diameter is 16 and I'm going to go here now once I highlight the right surface so this is the right surface so I'm going to say F3 now I can now I can go back here to the back. Okay, okay, that's okay. So now I need a circle 16, but it has to be exactly in the center. So I'm gonna click on the center here, and it should be in the center here. So man, if I want to have both of them in the center, I think this is the right location. So I'm gonna put it here, and then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna extrude this one how much 100 I'm going to extrude 100 okay so let's do that okay so extrude I'm going to go to chain the circle here right click and then I'm going to go 100 and so now as you can see it is 100 so now since we're gonna do that okay we can do something here okay I need to make a curve here which is 4.5 millimeter and I need to do the trim the edge here one millimeter so the round here click on the round at the edge here and it should be 4.5, so 4.5, enter. And the edge here, I'm gonna click, so now to, I'm gonna say chamfer equals setback. It's a straight line, just straight line equals setback means 45 degrees, and it's gonna be at this location. And I want one millimeter, so this is, this is the right one, so it's one millimeter, so I did this chamfer. So if I look at the right view, I should see it like this. Okay, so it looks good. So, okay, now we need to do what? To do the threads. How do you do the threads? So we go to hold, and instead of hold, I'm going to click on threads. The menu for the thread or this information about the thread, it will show up. Now we need to find is this is the thread, okay? And I want to do it in this shaft here i say okay now we'll go to the table here it allow me what type of threads i will choose so if you click in the standard here 
Here we have inch standard or metric standard. So in our case, we'll do the metric standard. Okay. And the standard thread, yes. And the size, I'm going to specify also the, the type of thread. So it is M16, means that the metric system and the 16, the measure diameter is 16 millimeter. But I will do it like as a pitch 1.5. So I'm going to click on this one. Okay, so the main parameter here. Okay. Now I need to put how for how extent I'm going to put 70. 70, enter. Say okay. So now the amount of threads will be 70. And also, do you want to show the thread or not? So I'm going to say also I need a, I, I need physical thread show it to me. So I say okay, enter. So now, okay, so now we can show the threads, and this will conclude the session for the part modeling. So let's go to the draft sheet. Before you go out, make sure that you save the files, save as, save as, and then you save it as what? Lab 9 under your name. So lab 9 under your name, okay? So now let's okay let's go to the draft sheet so new new and all those we're gonna use the draft in inch and see draft okay so I say okay and I'm gonna choose size B size B okay Make it fit, and then import the weather for the file. The file will be lab nine. Say okay, open, and then we're gonna choose. This is looks big, so I'm gonna change the scale to one by one, one to one. So I'm gonna put it somewhere here, and then this is a side view. And two, two projections should be enough because of the symmetry about the y-axis. So now I'm going to draw the, the design here. So what I right click, then I'm going to move it to be in this corner here. And then right click. Let me first make it as a gray shaded. Make sure that you choose gray shaded with edges. Okay. And then okay and then right click and update so this will update the drawing now we'll start doing the uh, putting the dimension so i will start with the, the the smart dimension i know that this is 20 uh, 25 okay now before i do that right click make sure that the dimension are in millimeter and the size of the font 1.75 so now let's start so I'm going to do this one, 25, 25, 25, so I'm here. And this one is 20, good. And this, the total thing is 75. So we're done with this one. Now, what about the, 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 the dimension here? Okay, so I can make it like this if, if I want it, then I can move it. So, so I will move it a little bit to it. So, no, I just I'm gonna want to do that just with the selection here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna move it a little bit, move this one a little bit, maybe to the higher. Okay, that's good enough. So, now let me put the other dimension so this one is 17.5 radius and this one is what the file is 15 let's get this one the 36 and then i'm going to put the x dimension between this one and this edge here so this is 20 and then the other one here so it's going to be 16 what about the curve here The radius 20 
and what else okay i believe we have most of the line okay yeah okay so we will put the height and all these dimensions fifty seven point five and also the dimension from the tip here from this edge here to the other edge here. no the other one okay this is what this is one hundred and the other thing also the from the edge here to the edge here this is the same the amount of thread is seventy okay without the thing now i want to show more details about the thread so what i gonna do you see details here under drawing views you see details so click on details and then i'm gonna put the center of the circle at this location so i can see the details of this thread now i can move it somewhere here so i'm gonna put it somewhere here and i can move that the writing for this detail a i'm gonna move it to be here so it's not gonna be okay so what else okay so this is we'll do it and then let's put the dimension between the edge here the chamfer just see how much it is it is one millimeter okay so this now we are almost done before we get out let's make sure that we put the the name of the lab so i'll go to the under under annotation choose the letter a means that we're gonna type i'm gonna choose font size 2 and it's gonna be bold i can type it here so this is lab 9 and you put your last name and we will move it down here okay and before you forget make sure that you save it under your name as I mentioned save as and then save as and it's going to be lab 9 dash your last name okay this will conclude our uh, session for today and see you next time good luck